everybody, this is Kyle from Time to Back Out Productions here on the Replace Yourself Production Vlog Day 42. Uh, today what we are doing is gearing up for the upcoming promo shoot. Uh, and I'm going to flip the camera around in a minute. As you can see, I was given a snow day today uh, because we're going to get a, between a foot and two feet of snow today, which is uh, somewhat uncommon for Pennsylvania, but you know, hey, whatever. So what I did with my snow day is I grabbed some lumber and then I had these uh, rails which I used to put the dolly into and I'm going to sort of improve them with 2x4s rather than these cheap little furring strips that I had um, as well as sort of make notches at the end of the 2x4s so they can fit together and then I'm going to use these bolts and wing nuts to tie them together so I can get 12 feet of track instead of just six. So uh, I figured today uh, not much going on uh, besides shoveling snow every couple hours. So uh, take the opportunity to uh, get it done. So I'll uh, update you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've been working for about an hour and a half now. I have one side of the track done. The other side is just needs to be put together, so I'm gonna flip around and uh, show you guys here in a second. Okay, so, so you get the full spectrum here. Now, I didn't explain it, those rails are basically just posts that you'd hang like chicken wire on or something like that. Um, I bought them at a local hardware store. They were about, uh, I think, 10 or 20 bucks a piece, so it wasn't too bad. So, if you look a little bit closer, I just cut these like a piece out of each side and fit them together and uh, put bolts in between them. Now where they meet is not 100% perfect. Um, I'm going to have to try to find a way to buffer that a little bit. Uh, so I'll take a closer look at that later. But as you can see the second track is ready to go. I have these two pieces that just need to be drilled out and have the bolts put on and then all I have to do is take the remaining pieces of track and then line them up together the best I can and then screw them on. So it's really not that hard of a project. It's really just uh, four pieces of uh, two by four by eight is what I'm using because the rails are about six foot each. I just left some space on one. As you can see, this, this rail overhangs and then this rail sort of has uh, about eight inches of space open so that it overlaps um, and has a place to sit so it's not right on the uh, the crease there um, and then uh, I just used uh, five inch bolts with wing nuts so I can take them apart and transport them easily so I have about uh, you know six seven feet here that will easily fit into uh, my uh, my SUV so uh, not bad so I'll uh, do the test run then when we're all finished. All right, so the day is nearly over and the track is finally done, although I did have to take some breaks to shovel snow and some other good stuff. So uh, if you look outside, the snow is nearly done. The roads are clear, sidewalks are shoveled. That's a good thing. So uh, just some minor cleanup yet, but uh, track is done. Now there is a little minor snafu that I ran into here, and that is right where the two pieces meet. There's a little bit of a bump, and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So I'm gonna run the camera. Oh, you know what? I'll hit the record button real quick. There we go. So you guys can see it in at least the video. So if you're running, you see there's like a minor little bump. And unfortunately, I hit it three times with the tripod wheels. Bump, bump. So I did try to take some wire brushes here and uh, even it out a little bit so you can see I kind of you know jacked it up a little well I didn't jack it up but smoothed it out a little bit um, but it's still a little bit of that bump so I'm wondering if I could put something in there to buffer it um, I had thought about putting some kind of compound in there to let you know fill in the gaps and smooth it out however I want to take this track apart so that's not gonna work, so I will have to come up with something else, but the promo shoot is this weekend, so I will figure something out. So that was our little uh, 
project today as far as the uh, snow day is concerned. All right, so that's our vlog this week. Uh, did some uh, uh, DIY track here that I've been meaning to do for a while. So, uh, you know, hurt my thumb in the process. So, literally bled for this project. Fun, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, as always, visit our website, ttboproductions.com. From there, you can find links to our Facebook page, Twitter page, Instagram. Uh, sign up for our email subscription. You can go to the Replace Yourself pre-launch page. Uh, our YouTube channel. I, there's oodles and oodles of social media and content out there uh, for you guys to see on a daily basis. So um, I'll catch up with you guys next week.